Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. I could change her. Things could be different. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any closer. Stop. Go away. But... Move. Move. Buddy. Oh my god! Doc! Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. I'll get, I'll get help. Newspaper. What? You mean... I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh. I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Doc. Come back. Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. And if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! What about your father? Oh, yes, I suppose I should wait for him to finish dealing with the officials. I can't say he was exactly thrilled with the unexpected turn my demonstration took. But you heard him in there. He understands that a life of science has its ups and downs. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry. Is something wrong? Wait. 
It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? Carl Sagan. It was, uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here... But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask What's any... What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Je ne pense pas, non. You wouldn't understand. Oh yeah, try me. Mais en fait, on n'a pas le choix. What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me. Don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Wait, I will see you again, right? I guarantee it. Damn it. So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? I came to stop you from marrying Edna. Edna Strickland? I could never marry her. I mean, she was my first love, but after she broke my heart and tried to sabotage my career, I never saw her again. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies? Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my... Where is he? Where is that no-good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. You seen my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his pop on the nose right here. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was Great Grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of- That car! Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? 
You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well... Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Great Scott! Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Euh, notre fils est cette Canadienne. Did your son just marry a Canadian saloon singer named Trixie? Artie? Pshaw, that boy ain't got nerve to ask a girl to the church social. You acquainted with him? Only slightly. Oh, well, just passing through. We hope. Tell us. Hmm, where is Valley? We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it, a hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. Qu'est-ce qui est arrivé à Hill Valley? What happened to Hill Valley? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever it was, it must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Pourquoi elle refuse de parler? Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. Can I drive? Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.